Leicester pose Chelsea plenty of problems here in the league in October. Howard's overrun that. And the referee didn't like the tackle on Yonah Anderson. And she's going to her back pocket here and Sophie Howard is off. Leicester down to 10 players and we've only had 17 minutes. A dreadful start for the visitors. Just about win it back. Ingle, lovely way to pass for Penilla Harder. Can she find a finish? Oh, yes. It's taken Chelsea less than 10 minutes to take advantage of having the extra player. Second goal against Leicester this season for Harder. Anderson. It's a lovely way to pass for Sam Kerr, who's on side. And squares it for Harder, who taps in for two. Lovely Chelsea goal that. Unselfish from Kerr. The angle wasn't really there for her to shoot. But Harder had made a great run and was rewarded with a tap in. Play for an hour at Kings Meadow now. Here's Harder, it's a nice way to pass for Sam Kerr, first time, touched it beyond the goalkeeper, 3-0, job done. Chelsea going through to the quarter-finals, surely. Wright's initial ball, Harder did well, Kerr stayed on side, and the finish was precise. far side oh how about that for Jiso Young's first goal of the season something special from a special player Leicester gave her the time and she punished them another worry for Leicester here another Chelsea corner this one not so good needs to come across a second time maybe clearance out only as far as Millie Bright Skipper hooks one back in with the left foot. Oh, and there's Newen to score her first Chelsea goal. Anik Newen makes it 5-0. A big moment for her. Right, a stroll in the sunshine for Chelsea. Charles might get worse here for Leicester. This is Jesse Fleming. And there at the far post, a delicately lofted over Lambourne is Sam Kerr and give Chelsea a sixth goal. A Blues cruise to the last eight. Charles. Oh, so hard on Leicester, been down to ten for so long, it's going to get worse for them here. A magnificent seven for the Blues. Bethany England, the substitute, adds her name to the ever-increasing list of scorers. It's Chelsea 7, Leicester City 0. And the FA Cup holders are going through to the quarters. Confirmation, there is the final whistle. A brilliant afternoon, a chasing one for Leicester. Final score, Chelsea 7, Leicester City 0. Thanks for talking to us. Yeah. Uh, Mark's out of 10 for the performance and your thoughts as well, please. Um, listen, I, I spoke with the players at half-time about the first half performance. I uh, wasn't happy at all with the way we approached the game. I completely understand we're coming back from international break and with that means that for some players they've played a lot of football. But, you know, what we've built over a number of years um, and having pride in our performance, I didn't see any of that in the first half. Um, but the second half, I think, much improved. Yes, down to 10 players, not of our, you know, there's nothing I can do about the decision of the official. But um, I thought the second half significantly better from us. They seem to press more in the second half. Is that something that you said to them at half time? I won't repeat what I said to them at half time, and not for any other reason that that's between us. Um, but. Uh, I got the I got the desired outcome that I wanted. Yeah, certainly, because all, you know, plenty of goals in that second half. Different goal scorers. You have the braces from Harder and Kerr as well. G with her first goal of the season, which I, I didn't 
realise it's all. Congrats to her. Yeah. And Anik on the score sheet and Beth England as well. Yeah, happy for all of her. I think Anik to get her first is, is a great um, marker. Same for G. Good for Beth. Beth worked so hard to get back from this injury. I think we're going into this next block of games with a lot of depth. Yeah, absolutely. One other thing, we uh, loads of the Chelsea supporters were singing Manchester City, hope you're watching the game, particularly the second half. The Continental Cup comes next. I guess the question is how important is the team take that spirit and that performance of the second half into the final? Yeah, I think you just have to get back into the game after international break is always a tricky one. So it's important we train right all week. I, I thought our mentality was good yesterday in training. But I don't think we got things right in the, the performance in the first half of the team. But that's something for us to reflect on going into next week. Congratulations on two goals. Congratulations on the win. More importantly, congratulations on qualifying for the quarterfinal of the FA Cup. What does that win mean to you and the team? Yeah, it's an important win. Uh, not a win in 2022. Um, yeah, a lot of goals as well. Not the best first half, but I think we came out much better in the second half. Leicester City went down to 10 players in the 90th minute. How much did that change the game and your game plan? Yeah, obviously it changed it. Uh, they came down with one player less and uh, yeah, we, we could have more time. I think they, I mean, they still were quite aggressive, but it maybe gave us a bit more space. What changed for you guys in the second half? Just the mentality, I think. Just like going out and winning the, the duels, winning the second balls and just go forward, uh, create more chances. Uh, you personally are in fine form. The team is, has, is unbeaten in 2022. How important is that? To, is it to take this form into the Continental Cup final on Saturday? Yeah, it's important. Like, I mean, every every game we win, we get more confident. And next week uh, weekend, we we have a final coming up. And yeah, it's important. And we are super ready for it. Yeah, I wish you the best of luck. Thank you.